out. So here's my outhouse. We are going to make it so you can open it up and you have a little surprise inside. But that doesn't sound good. A surprise inside your outhouse <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. So we have our little lion waiting in line with his own toilet paper. This is bring your own toilet paper to the zebra inside who has a lot more than he needs. He's hoarding his toilet paper. We have this one and we have our morning lady and her toilet paper is coming out. And this one I didn't open. This one was just fun. The retro outhouse. So what I want to show you how to get um, how I did the door on the back side. So I have my outhouse. I'll do I'll do the brown one first. I'm going to color all three so you can see how I color them. I'm going to start off with the 942. These are Tombow watercolor markers. And I'm just going to quickly swipe each plank. Oh, here comes our son, otherwise known as Thunderfoot. All right. I can't find it. Yeah, I have it only unmounted on the shelf. I remembered that after you went up. Okay, so I have 942 and 977. Tap them together to get the blended tones. Come up from the bottom. And these are, you know, outhouses don't have to be pretty wood. So they can be cragy and maybe not blended perfectly because it's an outhouse. So I have that. And then I need... Um, khaki? Khaki. The 992. Ages the wood well. Uh, Barbara is wondering if she needs to wear a mask in the outhouse. I will show you that. <laughs> you just may, depending on. I figured out a trick on how to make a mask this week for our critters. So I've actually, like myself, I've lost two of them that I've colored today. So I have my outhouse colored. I'm going to color some of the weeds. That's a 192. Um, the soft mossy green and add the 553 blue okay so I'm going to do this oops that was the wrong gray sometimes you need to pay attention that's my soft gray Got my soft gray N95. And on this card, I put a little bit of yellow, but then I stamped one of the sticks and I forgot to write the number down just to bulk up the flowers. But what I really want to show you is how I got the um, texture, the wood on the back of the door. So the first thing. Get my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to cut above the door. Make sure I'm cutting the right panel, the long side, and then underneath the door. All right, now I'm going to flip it over, and I have my start and stop point. And I'm going to score the paper on the back side. If I score it on the front, you see kind of the cut line. I made the mistake of doing that. My cutting mat warped. But I'm going to go from point to point, just a gentle score. So when I flip it over, there is my door that opens. Move this. Now, for the wood on the back, it is just colored kind of crazy, and I hand drew those lines. They're not straight, and it was relatively simple. 
So I have my cut door. And I actually wanted some of the lines of the overlapping to give it look like wood. Again, this is an outhouse, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Add a little bit of that khaki color. Now the thing I did try to do, oops, set it on my cleaning pad. There are five um, boards to my front of my door, I did try to keep the same number of boards on the back, just for consistency. And you don't want to have three on the inside and five on the outside. I'm going to take my pilot pen. There's my door. It was just one big board that got part of it rotted out. That could be. I'm not worrying about the moon that's on there. Try to get that to line up would be kind of a pill. All right. And the tops don't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to add a few little extra grain. scratches for the grain in the wood. And that's all I need to do for the inside of the door. Because when you open it, there's my door. Now, the little guy inside, I have him all done. The zebra is all colored. And I have him, you can make it look like he's sitting, but I just had him standing there. And his toilet paper, I'll color that, it's very simple. I'm going to grab the 491, did I get the 4, no that's the 553, here it is, 491. Unless you come from the era of remembering colored toilet paper when it used to match your bathroom with pinks and blues and greens. I have vague memories of that. So 491 and the 553 and that's about all you need to do. You can add a little bit of gray if you want. But you color your toilet papers. Again, I am not a huge fan of masking. I prefer to cut things out and glue them. Do two more. Ooh, that glue on my fingers. How much toilet paper does he need? He's hoarding it. Oh. He doesn't want to run out in his outhouse. I should really be louder when I talk so people can hear me. 110 people in there. Oh, wow. 111 for a second. Lots of people on tonight. And if anybody has any issues with the coupon codes, please send me send us a note. It was the first time I've ever set up the coupon codes, and I will admit it argued with me for quite a while. But I think I got it all correct. It funny okay, let me stack that toilet paper up. And since he's going to be in the outhouse, I'll show you the idea I came up with for a mask. I cracked myself up because nobody else was here, so. Going a little crazy? I was. All right, so we have our zebra and his pile of toilet paper. So the mask oh, is... Wow. He has drywall on the inside. It's all white. Um, it's E269, the wire hanging basket. And I colored it already. This is what it looks like. But the part I'm going to use as the mask is just the bottom. Because it's got fun patterns. And I'm going to grab some bright colors. And I'll color the little leaves. You can use any bright colors. That was not the green I meant to grab. I meant to grab the 133. So this one's a little darker than I anticipated. But then I'm going to cut out and save just the 
bottom part of the basket. So you have your zebra. He's wearing his little mask. Like I said, I've done two of these today and lost them. And then he's in the outhouse. Could trim the mask. You could trim the mask. I did for a little bit smaller face. Here's my lion. He could also be wearing the mask in anticipation of using the outhouse with his roll of toilet paper. Oh. And just in case, he's got a plunger. Is it bring your own toilet paper? It is bring your own toilet paper. The B Y O T P? <laughs> B Y O T P. Could be a new party. Okay, so here he is. Our lion, so he's waiting in line for the outhouse. So that's kind of the fun thing. The lion is more proud. All right, so the next one is our blue outhouse. I'm gonna show you how to color that. Move the Santa before we hear a crash and unhappiness. All right, so we have- a bunch of them. Our blue Santa. Blue Santa. Well, the Santa is blue. Blue outhouse. So I'm going to start off with the 491. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's an outhouse. And then this is the 452. So I'm going to tap them together. All right. A couple people ask, does this wreck the lighter marker to tap them together? No, it does not at all. I actually have to keep going back and picking the color up because it wears off. Come back in with the darker tones under the shadows. All right, great lids on the right marker. So I'm going to grab the 553 blue just to give it another tone. And your environments you color in will change how the color um, looks because this one I colored upstairs. This one I'm coloring down here in the basement where it's a little damper. So my colors are absorbing into the paper in a different manner. So that can affect what you're doing. So I'm going to grab the 992, the khaki for the shingles. Yeah. Actually, with the one you made upstairs, it looks a lot paler. It does. It uh, The colors don't absorb in the same way, so it looks different. Because I'm coloring them the exact same way, they just look different depending on the moisture in the air. This one's going to have bright colored hinges. And if I'm forgetting to say the colors, I will have them on that sheet. So that was 055 and then a 985. And then you would do um, the greens. It's a fancier outhouse. It's a little bit fancier. Yeah, Stamped the three flowers stubby on the outside. But I want to again, just in case you missed it before, cut this. I'm going to use a cutting board that's not warped this time. And show you how I did the door. Oh, oh. Sorry. I'm going to cut, cut straight up and then under the door. All right, so there's my door. Look, to release my door. I'm going to flip it over. Grab my straight edge ruler and just go from a light score 
from cut to cut. So then we have our door. To color it, it for the wood planks. Going with the overlapping, blend my two colors together, so I get the boards. And a little bit of blue, and then your fine line. This is again the pilot pen. I'm using a V5. Sometimes it's a V7. And I'm just drawing my boards. You can see how not perfect and straight they are. I mean, I try to get them somewhat straight, but they don't always show turn out that way. Add a little bit of green. Put a swirl in there if you need to. Maybe a few nail marks and then when you flip it over there is your door it's open i used our little morning lady she's i02 i believe but she seemed appropriate in the outhouse and what i did on Colors, i forgot to mention. Where's my outhouse card? On this one, when I put the zebra in there, I used a little bit of double stick um, foam, tape, foam tape. So there's a little dimension. This one, I just glued her directly down. So you could do that. I lost my pre-colored toilet paper. Or my pre-cut out toilet paper. I'll steal the lion's if I know where it is. Oh, I'm just going to take the lion's toilet paper. So, you can tuck the toilet paper in there. We color it. But the fun part of this one is the actual toilet paper. So I just cut a little strip. You don't want to use too much. Save it. And then I crinkled it all up and glued her toilet paper in there with her. So that's kind of her fun card. Now the other outhouse, this one I didn't open. You could. I just didn't. I'm going to grab another outhouse and show you the colors on that one. It's the 133, the chartreuse, and the 195, basically, and then the khaki again, the 992. So I'm going to take the 133. Everybody's kind of quiet tonight. Either they're, Dave's, I can hear him typing away, so either that or he's getting all your questions. Someone just said, I hope you do more demos. Love this. So I just said, we're planning on every Friday as long as we have the viewers. So. Yeah, we will continue these. I don't know where the shows are going to go. Who knows what the future of that is. So we will be continuing the videos. And again, like I, I've said before, if you guys have any ideas of questions, feel free to send them in and I'll see what I can do with them if there's something you're wondering about, something you want to know how to color. I take suggestions. So, I got that. Come back in just underneath where the darker is. Now this is a very dark green, so I might just come back and blend it down. And if you want to change it, maybe not so bright, you can take the, the 192 and darken it down. It'd be kind of cute with a frog inside, the frog outhouse. Um, the shingles at the top, 
the 992 khaki. You could even put a little khaki on it if you wanted to. That. Oh, I just thought, okay, we're going to alter this a little bit. So we have this guy bright. You take the khaki. this. Why are those stains? They're not stains. You take the khaki and the dark gray. And now we have a camouflage outhouse. Or people didn't remember to bring their toilet paper. So you got that hunter in your life. So that altered a little bit, our camouflage outhouse. So, and then um, the flamingo, we're going to have a flamingo by our camouflage outhouse, is this guy. It's the whimsical Very flamingo. It's E213. And I colored this one softer pink. This one's bright. But I wanted it to look more like a um, plastic yard flamingo. So those usually just have the skinny stick leg. So basically, I just took off one of his legs. We don't have a die for this, but it's a fairly easy fussy cut. Janice is wondering, do the small clothes fit the medium-sized bird? Um, some do, yes. Some don't. Um, the Actually, most kind of do. I know that was kind of a Duh. obscure answer. Uh, we do have a chart on the website where I've gone through and try to pick what I think fits things the best. Okay, so there's my flamingo. I chopped off his foot, chop off his leg. I know that sounds horrible. Poor flamingo. Poor flamingo. And now we have our little yard stake flamingos. Put our little outhouse gnomes. They don't quite look the same Good by the knows. camouflage outhouse, but everything around it is not very camouflaged. I know. Diana is asking what ink do you use? So I'm not sure. If... Uh, for stamping, I use. I already have everything pre-stamped to soak because in the wet basement it needs a little bit longer to dry. Um, the quick drying pad for watercolors. It's a semi-permanent pad, so it isn't harsh like permanent pads. You don't have to use special um, cleaners and things like that. But in most cases it dries pretty permanently. You have to work hard to get it to bleed. When I'm in my damp basement I just stamp it ahead of time and give it a couple minutes to dry a little bit longer. But that's what I use. The markers are Tombow's. And then the other inks I use are the Kaleidacolors. I, we only, right now, have the spectrum online. Um, this guy, I colored the weeds purple. The little bursts by it are the snowflake. E, uh, AAA 23. Nathan, Linda said you don't ask about stains in the outhouse. Yes. Nathan. You don't. So we have double, not AAA, double A 23. And I just take my Tombow marker and extend out my dots to make it look a little more flashy, bursty. Yeah. And then all the shiny stuff on here, like the flamingos, you got to have the plastic flamingo, is the crystal lacquer. So I have crystal lacquer on my flamingos, on the moon, the hinges. This one is on the plunger. So thanks for watching, guys, um, and hanging out with us. Be sure to go to stampsbyjudith.com to see everything that we carry and check out videos like this and more.